Hey guys, it's me Drew and I'm here to do a Bath and Body Works Christmas candle haul. Um, <coughs> this was filmed a while ago, so by the time you see this, eh, this hair, it's going to drive me crazy. Whole video. But anyway, so I got one, two, three, four, nine, 11 candles at the last two for 24 sale. So let's just jump right into it. And let's start with this one. This is this one. This is Golden Peach Sparkle. And I got this one. Um for the main reason that it smells just like peach bellini. I mean, there's nothing else, it's just peach bellini, which I really, really like this scent. So I picked one of these up. And it's pretty with the geometric ooh. Look how look how cool that is right there. That's cool. So I picked up that one. Then I picked up Vanilla Snowflake, which I really like this scent. It's an odd scent. It's not just straight up vanilla. It says, let it snow vanilla snowflakes this year with a delectable blend of creamy vanilla, wintry mint, and a dash of coconut. I don't get the mint. I get vanilla coconut. That's what it is. It's just weird to find in a Christmas type scent. I feel like this is the candle for people who don't like piney Christmassy type scents, but they still want like the pretty Christmas label. So vanilla snowflake, it's yummy. I like it. I like the light blue color too. Then an absolute classic and I am partial to the label because it's absolutely adorable and this is Marshmallow Fireside. Look at how stinking cute the label is. It's so cute with a little snowman. And a sweet toasty end to a cold day. Toasted marshmallows and sumptuous vanilla cream blend into the comforting aroma of rich smoldering wood. I love marshmallow fireside. Most people do. It's um just like a marshmallow roasted over the campfire. You know, it seems to stay either like this color, this uh, gray color, or white. And they've never messed with it really, which I'm very happy with because when they start messing with marshmallow fireside, that's when... You know they've gone cuckoo. I mean, Bath and Body Works already kind of has gone cuckoo, but it smells good. Next is Fresh Balsam. Now, this is so weird. I've never, ever, ever liked piney type scents. And all of a sudden, this year, I got from Capri Blue at Anthropology Fur and Firewood. It's delicious. I absolutely love that candle and... Now I'm like loving pine scents all of a sudden, which is so strange for me. So this one is fresh balsam. And I know this is a staple, like a lot of people love it. It says, breathe in the invigorating fragrance of snow dusted balsam, fir trees, and eucalyptus leaves. And this smells just like a Christmas tree. And I have fake Christmas trees in my house. So I'll definitely be burning this in the living room. And I also got, here it is right here. I actually keep little sleeves. I, I keep like my uh, things for my nightstand, like hand creams, lip balms, and stuff like that. But I'm going to actually use this one this year in the living room. Look at how cute it is. It has all the little things on it, all the little snowflakes, Christmas trees, reindeer. And your candle just look really, really pretty burning in that. So that was the Fresh Balsam. Another classic. Now this candle, love the label as well, but every year, everybody knows it always turns out can't smell it. So we'll see. If I can't smell it, I'll probably just burn it in the bathroom. And this is the classic Vanilla Bean Noel. A forever holiday favorite, a creamy blend of vanilla bean, rich cocoa, sweet cream, caramel, and brown sugar. Yeah, most people know what Vanilla Bean Noel is. It's just a very creamy, soft vanilla i love it i really do but i mean i'm not body care or anything i don't like bath and body works body care but i like their candles for the most part so here's my thing bath and body works candles are so hit and miss and yet they suck you in every single time i don't know why they do it it makes me so mad like that's all they do is sucker you into buying more candles <sighs> Then the staple for winter, winter, 
And it's a really cute label this year as well. Um, pine Needles, Icy Mandarin, and Winter Woods. Now, as much as I always say I don't like pine, I always loved winter. Always have, because I love that. It has the pine in it, but it has the mint and the winter wood of the mandarin. I'm not sure if I get a whole lot of, like, an orangey type scent, but I love it. I love it anyway. It's great. Um, then, I couldn't wait to burn it and look. Can you see that? Yep, it's a white candle, and it's burning gray. Story of my life. Twisted Peppermint. Another adorable label. Merry and Bright Peppermint celebrates the season with notes of vanilla, sugary musk, and this tear-filled scent. Mm, just smells like creamy vanilla peppermints. I love it. Burns. So I mean, it's burning nice and clean. The high flames, like, I have not had any wick problems with it. But oh, it looks massive on camera, this one. I don't know why. That's weird. It's not that big. But, um, yeah, I love it. It's strong. It's just a gray wax color, but... I have it in a luminary, so in a luminary, so and that doesn't really bother me. But and look at the labels this year or the lids. Yeah, blind you right here. Ready? Mm -hmm. Blind. No, yeah, they look like little snowflakes. Aren't they cute? I love them. Then oh, oh an oldie but a goodie, and this is so funny. I was I always used to go over my one friend's house, and she had this in a room spray in her bathroom, and when I came over, I would just smell it. And I never really burned this candle a lot in my house, but when I did, or when I do now, it reminds me of her. She passed away. Um, and it smells so good. It is the Fireside Candle. I love this scent. It, I just love it. The fragrance of a comforting winter fireplace in a blend of cedar and sandalwood layered with leather and the richness of amber. I don't ever remember leather being in the notes before, but it's this dark brown color. Um, I, for some reason, I don't remember this last year or the year before. I don't remember. For some reason, I feel like they discontinued this, but because I have not had this candle in forever. And when I saw it there, I was like, I have to get it. Even just to sit there and smell it. This reminds me of her bathroom, which sounds weird, but I just love it. I love Fireside. It smells just like a fireplace burning. Not like men's cologne, although I couldn't even imagine men's cologne in this. So, if you know men's cologne that smells just like Fireside, let me know because I will totally buy it. It smells so good. Then, three unique type candles. These are, they're really heavy. They're also $24.50 instead of $22.50. And they look like this. They're 12 ounces, and this one is in cranberry wood, so they don't have lids. They have that stupid paper. But... There are like these hard glass enamel type jars and they're really, really heavy. Um, they were included in the two for 24, so if they weren't, I would not have picked it up. But I buy Cranberry Woods every single year. I love it so much. Just reminds me of the holidays. It reminds me. Cranberries are my favorite. Cranberry sauce, eating cranberries, smelling cranberries, wearing the color cranberry, everything about cranberry I just love. And it's no exception with this candle. Love it. It's just like the perfect cranberry with a little bit of spiciness. Now, I don't want to say fireside, but it's almost like if frosted cranberry and fireside had a baby. This would be the mix. So, and then, I say unique because I picked up mahogany tea could, and this one's for a friend, but it smells just like Abercrombie Fierce. So if you know what the Abercrombie uh, cologne smells like, it smells just like this. But when I was there... I probably just got suckered into this. This is a mahogany teakwood white barn high intensity candle. And this was also $24.50, also included in the two for $22. And it says a confident new take on our classic home fragrance, mahogany teakwood. Intensely beautiful notes of mahogany, cedarwood, oak, and lavender. It smells exactly the same. It does not smell any different. It smells exactly the same. So I'll be curious to see if it burns stronger, but Mahogany Teak would burn strong anyway, so I don't really know. But if you look at the wicks, they're really, really thin, so I don't know. We'll see. And the lid's really, really cool on this one, too. It's like a brushed metal. And there was only one like this in the store, so I don't know. I had to pick it up, though, because for you guys. So I'll probably do a separate review on this one as well. I'm not sure. 
But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know if you guys got any new cool holiday candles from Bath & Body Works or anywhere. And I will talk to you later. Bye.